Hi all and welcome to this day one, obviously first time let's play of Sea of Stars, a game that I was part of kickstarting and it's finally here. So I will start a new game and during gameplay I will not be doing commentary, but I will be reading dialogue that lacks in-game audio and information text and stuff like that. Let's do this. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. So I think we have the two characters born on different solstices. Um, I think I played as Zale during the demo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Valer, a monk born on the winter solstice, walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. So this is probably a 25 to 30 hour game or even more. So I'm glad that you can change because I think I'm going to do the winter route. Great archives. Welcome to the Great Archives Adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait, to be sure. I am the Archivist, an immortal verse in the ways of alchemy. Perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events, countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there's one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So, walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that, I believe, will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now, I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations, but I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let's see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Mountain Trail Valer. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. Zail. So far, so good. So, the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? 
Do you think it's just another test? Could be. But it sure beats sitting at the academy. And suing! Ah. Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in time of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. I'm coming through. Attack, skills, items. Caves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to find already. Let's see where this leads. No turning back now. We have to reach the top and meet the Elder Mist. Zale's got the side covered. I should head to the right. The engraving is worn out, but it definitely mentions a rite of passage for children of the solstice. The Elder Mist. Ouch! Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Skills. Crescent R smashes enemies in an R. Belair? Found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing on note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come on, Rook. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Press A to unroll rope ladders. Lust slug.
but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting into trouble? Hmm. And making mistakes. Hmm. I'm sorry, Belair. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright? And that we're still friends? Huh. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Valer, my weapon will be something that hits really hard. Zay, and I'll pick a fast one. Garb, we'll be unstoppable. Imagine, all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? Never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent. It's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is. And it's super dangerous too. But don't worry. Can't wake up. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain. And the wind blows through them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa! I want to see it too. It's the bell. Erlina and Rugaves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Children of the Solstice. Villager, hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again? 
We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa! I'm close to say, opium palm and concentrate. What about you, Valer? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if he knocked me out. That was awesome, Zayu. You did it! Headmaster Murray, Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Hmm. Let's go, Brew Gabes. Hmm. Hey, the full moon is out. Huh? He's right. Wanna go to the Forbidden Cavern again? Try it already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work, and Moraine will be so impressed. We'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. Moon Cradle. Just a bunch of old books. I know you want to catch Erlene and Brew Gaves, but it's starting to be late. Bedtime soon, okay? Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow was a gift from the Great Eagle, always treated with respect. Forbidden Cavern. Ooh. 
We made it. Time to stop for snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the celestial willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. <laughs> All right. How do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valer. I knew it. It worked? Huh. I did it. I finally did it! So, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Did we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. Can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. Forbidden Cavern. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. I thought Evermist Island was safe. Yes, that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Watch out! There's another one! This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers. You're not ready for this. I... I don't know. Just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out! It's preparing something. Hmm? Come on, come on! Well, there, watch out! Ah! No! Carl! My eye! Really hurts. I, I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. So it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, Carl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Crater, a regular kid, what Carl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Hmm. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me.
Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friends for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, like a week? Ah, eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train solstice warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. Then in luck, will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the start helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, just a small burst. Hmm. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally, you will spend your days in training and study, but most importantly, suing. Suing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who join our order begin to, by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you can feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Suing. I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of suing? 
That will be over today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. I remember when Alina and Brew Gapes were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Uh, I feel old now. Suing basics. Uh. And this is where we'll end off the first part. See you in the next one. Thank you all for joining me in this Sea of Stars adventure. I hope you had as much fun as I did. If you enjoy the channel and the video, I would love to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I hope to see you again in the very next part. But for now, it is time to say bye bye.